You need people like me so you can point your f***ing fingers and say that's the bad guy. <laughs> Yo man, I'm all over YouTube and uh I'm watching all these videos. No intro. I'm watching all of these videos and um I'm laughing because I just posted a video saying that I doubt that the uh, Street Fighter 5 game would be uh, exclusive to PS4 and of course it was announced that it's not a timed exclusive it is an exclusive to PS4 but of course I was saying that as they iterate the title and bring out other versions of it one of them possibly should land on Xbox One at some point and you know some of you guys were saying well who wants to wait and I understand that but really I want to talk about the actual problem with them doing that. Capcom being who they are and me being a huge Street Fighter fan, like I said, my background is from the arcades playing Street Fighter. I mean, I used to get in trouble because I would stay in the arcade all night playing that game and my parents would be looking for me, you know, and I had school the next day and I would be actually out in the, you know, the, the arcade playing that game. So it was like a big, big, big problem for me. I was addicted to Street Fighter. It was like one of those games that it, it got me in so much trouble because I just, I used to steal quarters from my mom and them and, and just stay in arcade. I would do whatever I could. It was like crack to me. I would do whatever I could to play that game. And being a person that comes from that era, it's like Street Fighter coming out with a new version of the game that I was playing, but only certain arcades are going to have it. So the problem that you guys don't really seem to see because you guys are being fanboys is that Capcom actually sold out the fighting community because if you think about it a lot of people who play Street Fighter on Xbox 360 or PS3 they actually don't have a lot of money to buy a lot of games and they don't have both consoles they just want to play Street Fighter so by them doing that they actually take the fighting community and they, they fraction it and a lot of you guys are like oh yeah good for Xbox uh that's what they get for doing the Tomb Raider thing we're talking about two different things here. Tomb Raider is a game that people buy for the, its campaign. Street Fighter is cultural. They took the culture and they sold it. So as a gamer who likes to play fighting games, I'm a little bit disappointed in Capcom for doing that because you guys don't seem to understand that they actually divided the fighting community because there's gonna be people that have to wait now to get that game or they're not gonna want to buy a PS4 for that game. So I don't, I don't know if you guys really understand what Capcom really did here. And you know, congratulations to PlayStation because obviously, you know, with it being cross compatible with PC, that's an amazing thing. And I'm glad now I don't have to feel pressured to get one or the other. I could just get whichever one I feel like. But what about those people that don't have a PS4 or can't afford to buy both consoles? You split the gaming community, the fighting game community, and I have a problem with that. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people who do, and this is not a Sony, and this is not a, a Xbox thing. This is a fighting community gamer saying that I don't like what they did there. I don't like them splitting up that community with that title. And stop comparing it to Tomb Raider because, like I said, one is a single-player campaign game driven versus multiple online things like tournaments and things of that nature i'm not gonna you know break it down you guys have enough sense to know what i'm saying but capcom you sold out and that's fucked up what you did because the gaming community the fighting game community doesn't need that it's it's, it's it does okay street fighter is the most popular game but when it's streaming on twitch and stuff like that it's not the number one game in the box I, i've seen uh smash brothers do uh bigger tournaments than street fighter and i'm talking about you know the fighting game smash brothers so this is Jimmy B Gaming. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you agree with me that Capcom sold out, you know, this, the fighting game community by doing this? Or do you think it's a good thing? Or do you think it's a bad thing? And will you be switching to PlayStation 4 for Street Fighter for the people that are Street Fighter fans? I, will, I would love to know what you guys think in the comment section below. It's your boy Jimmy B Gaming, and I'm out. Hey, hey you. You made it to the end of the video? Thank you. I feel honored. Do me a favor while you're here and click on the video to the left of me or to the right of me to find out some of the other videos that I have on my channel. Or you could do me a favor and click the bottom where it says subscribe and subscribe to my channel if you're new. If you like what you saw here, leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think on what should I improve more. Should I be doing more reviews? 
Should I be doing less reviews? Should I be doing more commentaries, less commentaries? What should I be talking about? What would you like to see more of? Just leave your thoughts in the comment section below and click on one of these wonderful videos above. Ah, later, Ben.